Hello YouTube and welcome to another iPhoneNerd.com tutorial. Today we're going to be covering something very simple. Uh, basically, how to jailbreak and unlock an iPhone 4. Uh, if you already know how to do this, it's rather simple so a lot of people are going to know how to do it. If you already know how to do this, I still suggest you stick around because there's some useful information that will help you out as far as the sim card goes and as far as some security issues go so I will stick around just to just so I can uh, listen to that and get that information so the first thing you need to do you need an iPhone 4 once you get your iPhone 4 you need to this jailbreak does not activate your phone so you need to activate your phone with someone that's already with an authorized carrier like AT&T you need to have somebody that has a sim card for that and you need to and you need to uh, get them to just activate it with you through YouTube or there's other ways on YouTube too that you can uh, search you can do it with like a phone book sim card a phone book transfer sim card that you can get off a of radio shack um, if enough people ask I'll do a tutorial on how to do it that way okay um, this is my iPhone 4 it's already unlocked it's already jailbroken but I'm just gonna go through the steps on it so that you can basically understand what you have to do once you have activated your phone the first thing that you need to do, and a lot of people forget to do this, is go into settings. I like to do it right off the bat because it's something that you need to do. Settings, general, you go into network, and you shut off 3G. See how it says enable 3G is off? You need to make sure that that is off. Uh, if you've unlocked previous models, you know that 3G always has to be off in order for the unlock to work. So, first thing we need to do is we need to go open up Mobile Safari and we need to go to jailbreakme.com. There it is. And mine says that because I've already installed it, but it should tell you just to slide to jailbreak. So, what you would do in your case, mine is already jailbroken. What you would do in your case is just slide to jailbreak. And what's going to happen is, it's going to have like a minute, it's going to download Cydia, it's going to install, um, it's going to install all the stuff that it needs to install, it's going to jailbreak your phone, and Cydia is going to be on your home page. Uh, after you've done that though, there's one big thing a lot of people don't know about this. Once Cydia is on your home screen, there's one big thing. Uh, there's this the, the exploit that this jailbreak specifically uses is a very dangerous exploit it's actually a very big security hole right on uh, right in Safari and what happens is people can send you uh, make you download anonymously make you download this a PDF file and then they can hack into your security potentially get your information crash your phone or you know a bunch of just security issues so if you don't want to get into the technical aspect of it, as soon as you get Cydia on your home screen, just open up Cydia, let it reload the data, do its thing, and we, we, we want to install something just to protect, protect ourselves against that because Apple's going to patch this hole in the next update and we're not going to be able to jailbreak or unlock anymore, right? Because they're going to come out with a new baseband and they're going to come out with a new jailbreak. So with a new um, patch for the jailbreak. So if you want to continue to jailbreak, but you kind of want to stay secure, because it's a very big exploit and anybody can even install an app just for a prank on your iPhone. So just let it reload the data and I'll, and I'll tell you what to do. Uh, just for, for reference here at the bottom, you can tell that I'm on an iPhone 4. It says iPhone 4 iOS so 4.0 right there in the bottom of Cydia. Just go to um, search. The next step you need to do is just going to search this is this is nothing to do with the unlock this is just for the security and just search PDF you can just type PDF and it's gonna come up PDF loading warner I've already installed it what you want to do is click on it and instead of modify yours it's gonna say install you just install that right now what this does is just warns you if, if you go into a website or you're doing something on your phone and something tries to load a PDF file or load something using that exploit in Safari this is going to tell you, this is going to ask you that that, that thing is trying to um, install something on your phone, put something on your phone. And then what you would do is just hit cancel. 
if you trust the website you hit continue and it'll just let it load on your phone but this is just so you can stay secure um, after you've installed this it should tell you to respring res it's going to just respring your, your phone go back into Cydia once you're back in Cydia uh, you want to go into manage sources and normally I use the ultrasnow.org uh, repo because people overload the .com basically it's the same you should already have the ultra snow repo on your phone it, it should come already pre-installed um, but what you can do is you can add repo triple six dot ultra snow with a zero dot org instead of dot com because that one is less low because not a lot of people know about that one and it'll let you install I've got a lot of people that tell me that they get errors or they get a uh, uh, can't find server off of the dot com because so many people trying to download the unlock at the same time uh, once you've added those repos, you know, edit, add, and you type it in, HTTP, oh, well, that's already on there, uh, repo, triple six, dot ultrasnow.org, once you've added, added that, hit done, it's going to reload your sources, once that's done, go to search, back to search, and just type in ultrasnow. with a zero there it is now for me I have two ultra snows because I have another repo that has the ultra snow in there which is the simple iPhone repo and that is not the one you want to make sure you choose the one that says iPhone that means iPhone 4 unlock right click that you install that and you're basically done once that's done you're gonna re reboot your phone once your phone reboots your jail broken and unlocked. This shit unlocked. Now, that is extremely easy. Anyone can do that. The major problem that people are facing right now is the micro sim. Uh, I'm not gonna go into it in extreme detail right now. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video on how to do it. But what I'm gonna be able, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna give my subscribers. A, a video it's gonna be a video on how to do it uh, with a paper with anything so that you can try it out and I'm also gonna be offering pre-cut sim cards right throughout for through iPhone nerd.com so if you try to cut your sim card and it doesn't work you can just buy one right off iPhone nerd.com and we'll ship it to you um, we're also gonna offer the templates and we're also gonna offer the adapters when you buy one uh, that's one of the biggest major issues right now is the fact that people cannot really cut them and when they cut them it doesn't really fit or it just doesn't work uh, the best thing to do would be either to buy one or to go to like a T-Mobile store or a store around your, around your around wherever you live and see if they have old ones uh, ones that, that are scrap or trash and see if they can give you some because this is what I initially did I had them give me, I went to the T-Mobile store, they gave me like 30 of them. And I just sat there and messed up, messed all those up before I actually tried it on my uh, specific uh, SIM card. But stay tuned for that. I would, if, if I'm not a subscriber, I would subscribe so that the, when I put, bring out that video, you guys can, uh, can see it and get it done. And possibly get yourself right on the road to uh, having an unlocked iPhone 4. As you can see, I'm pretty good at it because mine, mine works perfectly fine and fits perfectly snug. Um, I think you find the tutorial rather rather easy. Don't uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for watching my videos.